Hey everyone, so we're going to look at figuring out if numbers are even or odd using some built-in things in Dynamo. Uh, so what we'll do first is make a random list of numbers. So let's see. Probably the easiest one. There's one in Dynasties, which is pretty nice. It gives us a few. Uh, let's use an out-of-the-box one. So what we'll do is we'll go from zero 350 and we will actually use the list one so we're going to tell it those are our start values we'll just reuse zero for the seed and 350 for the amount uh, seed just lets us iterate through different options if we want to uh, we'll just round these down to the nearest integer so this will work for integers at this time and we will just make sure we have unique things because we're going to generate some noise, I'm sure, with this node. Cool. And then we will shuffle them up too. Just so that way we know this is a seated shuffle, so it will let us pick different options as we slide a slider. So it's kind of cool because it will constantly be random. Uh, so that'll be our list of numbers that we're going to iterate through. We can put a watch node in here just to view those two, and we can resize it in newer versions of Dynamo. So in this case, we'll group this random stuff. That's our little iterator. And then we just want to see which ones are even or not. So in Dynamo, under the math category, there is an operator called modulo. Uh, so this is denoted by a percentage symbol. And what it does, the description says, it finds the remainder of x divided by y. So in our case, if we take all of our values and divide them by two, we'll get a list of zeros and ones. Uh, anything that is a zero is an even number. Anything that's another value or one uh, would be an odd number. So with that in mind, we can literally see if it's equal to zero. So we'll do this, we'll do this, collapse that, and we now have a list of true and false values. So true would be true that it is an even number. Uh, as you may know, filter by Boolean mask, super useful. There's a link uh, for a video I did on that before as well. If we uh, connect this, let's clean up a few things. We now have a list of our even numbers and our odd numbers. So really quickly, we split those out. Uh, you can use these wherever you want down the line. So if we put a watch node again, and we only want to see even nodes, for instance, as I shuffle it up, it will run and figure out which ones are the even numbers. Uh, just kind of on the fly. So pretty cool uh, stuff I've seen this used for is like when you're generating stepping values uh, within like Dynamo, so staggering something, uh, or if you just need to isolate things based on if they're even or odd, so maybe levels or something like that. Um, so yeah, there it is, the modulo operator. Uh, this is in the primer as well, but yeah, how to use that to figure out if you have even or odd numbers. Thanks.